Hello friends, I have been playing around with OpenShift and I decided to bring you along for the ride. Even though the process is pretty straightforward, I think I made every possible mistake along the way. In this case I had a worker node and a control node on the same host and that required a lot of resources for CPU and RAM as you can see here on the screen. And without that you can't move forward with the process. Thankfully, little by little I made the mistakes and I was able to see the errors and correct them slowly but surely. At this point I realized that I needed a lot more uh, resources for memory and CPU and here you see that so that the bring up process could actually start. The last error you see here, it was the TPN module. I had to turn that up on Proxmox so it can actually work. The installation process is really long, but I took some videos along the way so that you can see the process and also how the VM was behaving. During this part, I just had to simply change the boot order so that uh, the ISO could be deployed. Here we start to get some progress. And as you see here, we have 23 CPUs and 54 uh, gigs of memory, hitting the 50% to 75% threshold the entire time from this point on. Towards the end, I run into this DNS issue because I didn't properly take care of it in the beginning like the instructions ask you to. With all of that out of the way, we can now access the cluster and get a chance to build a simple VM. You can also import any VMs if you need to as well. That's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoy my six hour journey in a few minutes here. Thank you for watching.